Hi YouTube, it's Alan Sagano. I'm the president of ADS Consulting Group and today's topic is about the Exchange Hybrid Configuration Wizard. So the Hybrid Configuration Wizard is uh, something you'd need to run if you're going to run like some on-prem exchange with stuff in 365 or you have on-prem exchange and you want to run Teams in 365 or you're, you have a kind of a mixed environment. So uh, Microsoft has this hybrid configuration wizard that does a lot of work for you. Answer a few questions, click, 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 and it configures everything. Uh, Azure AD Sync, blah, 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 and make sure that things have the right rights so that you can flow data back and forth. Well, it turns out that the configuration wizard actually broke. Wah, wah. We've run it multiple times, and, and one of my coworkers was working on it. And she goes, this is not my first rodeo, and this thing is just blowing up. So it turns out the reason why it breaks is because the hybrid configuration wizard uses PowerShell version 1. And you may or may not know that they, by default now, disable PowerShell version 1 on off in the Office 365 admin portal. So the fix is to re-enable PowerShell version 1 on uh, in the Office 365 admin portal and the configuration wizard works fine. The real fix, right, is to update the configuration wizard so it doesn't use PowerShell version 1. It uses, I think, the current version is version 3. Ugh. Anyway, I'll put a link here. This took us a long time to figure out. So if you're struggling with this and hitting your, it's like some, in the, after you click it, when you try to do it, it's like some unknown error has occurred. Or I can't remember the exact wording, but it is the, the error message is super vague and super annoying. So we'll put a link here to the, um, there's a uh, message thread on uh, what, what the issue is and um, uh, how to fix it. So if you're running the hybrid configuration wizard and, you, and it seems like it's broken, this is probably the fix. And it did take us a long time to find the the right fix. So which should have taken, you know, an hour, ended up taking like three days just because it was super annoying. Anyway, that's our tip of the day. If you hopefully if you have this issue and you you ran into this video, it'll save you a ton of time. So uh, that's our tip of the day. Thanks a lot for listening. Stay safe out there and we'll talk to you soon.